The amount of urine produced by the nephron depends on body fluid volume and composition. Dilute urine is formed when the body is normally hydrated. The medullary osmotic gradient determines the osmolarity of the filtrate. Filtrate osmolarity increases as it flows down the descending limb of the loop. The ascending limb of the loop is highly permeable to solutes, but impermeable to water. Filtrate osmolarity decreases as it flows up the ascending limb because the solutes leave and water cannot enter. As the filtrate enters the distal convoluted tubule, its osmolarity is much lower than blood osmolarity. Since the distal convoluted tubule and collecting ducts are not very permeable to water, but permeable to solutes, filtrate osmolarity continues to decrease. Eventually, urine exiting the collecting duct has lost most of its solutes and has a very low osmolarity. In this way, large volumes of dilute urine are formed. When the body is dehydrated or large amounts of fluids are lost, the nephron produces concentrated urine. In this situation, Filtrate production occurs much as it does when the body is not dehydrated. However, the high blood osmolarity that occurs during dehydration triggers the release of antidiuretic hormone. Antidiuretic hormone promotes the production of water pores in the cells of the collecting duct in the medulla. As more and more water is reabsorbed from the collecting duct, the filtrate osmolarity becomes higher and higher. In this way, the filtrate becomes more and more concentrated, conserving water. The water eventually moves, via osmosis, into the blood, increasing blood volume and decreasing blood 